Hello, everybody. This is Chris. And in this tutorial, we're going to go ahead and create our edit that blade that PHP file, and also finish up our application. So if we go ahead and click Edit here, it's just going to take us to the boilerplate. But you can already see the resource, uh, our route resource, already taking effect here. So you're going to Tasks and uh, with an ID of two, and then we're going to edit it. And you can see that here in the now, if we were to run routes again, you already see how it works. So we've got, where is it here? Headed. So tasks, the task uh, ID, and then edit. And that's exactly what we have here. So let's go ahead and get started with this. And I'm just going to hit control and tilt to get rid of this. So for this edit.blade.php, I'm just going to grab what we had in our create and copy that and paste it in here and this is just to save time so we can discuss a little bit more so some things that we're going to have to change we're going to have to change update your ta this to update your task uh, doesn't need to be capitalized your task and instead of form open we're actually going to target the model here so we're going to say form model and it's task with an array and here's our methods and if you remember the um what are we at here go to task controller you see here the array accept we're, here's the task we're pulling in so we're pulling the task in ID um, so that's your first variable in your edit that blade so task we're getting that from the edit and I'm going to get rid of stuff here before we get into this and we want to go in an array, we're going to get all the array, all the input except the method. And to do that, we're going to just, and the method, of course, is going to be patch. So method, and the method is patch. Next, we're going to go ahead and say the route that this is going to go to. and that is going to be an array the first one is the name of the route and the name of the route is tasks.update and next is the data and that is task ID okay so we have the three parentheses here one two three and three at the end that's where I made a mistake last time okay next this form label task can be the same and the placeholder we're just going to say task but it's not going to be there because we are going to do something I've never shown y'all before but we're going to pull back so whatever the name of the task was or whatever the task was we're going to have it already in the text field when they go to this and to do this we're just going to simply say input old so we're going to grab the old input from the database and what we're going to grab is the value of the task field and we're going to pass that back to the user that way they can edit it themselves uh, next we're going to have another form a control group so dot control group and this is we have for the checkbox I don't know how familiar you you guys are with this whole form checkbox thing for Laravel, but it's pretty weird, and I'll show you why. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and give it a label though. So form label, and it's gonna be for completed, and its value is like what the label is gonna say is gonna be completed. Actually, completing just question mark. Okay. 
normally we would do form uh, checkbox completed And we could say like one. Actually, we wouldn't say anything, All right? And let's just go ahead and finish this up real quick. This form, this we'll just say update here, and that can work. Uh, cancel that'll work. So let's go ahead and save that and go out to our form and look at it. So if we go back out here, refresh, and hit edit, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a break here to give some more space save that go back out refresh and give us a little more space there we go so if we were to hit update here and you know we're gonna go ahead and just change this to test updated and we just update right it's gonna say test updated and it does have completed so but we but we didn't even check the box we did check the box update so even if we don't check the box if it's unchecked you know it automatically is updated and it's going to stay like that so what we need to do is we need to give it a hidden form box and then pass values to it so I'll show you how we do that so form hidden and then this one's also going to be completed but here we're going to say zero, and here we're going to say, we're going to say one. And that will fix it for us. So now if we go back in here to uh, just refresh this real quick. Now if we go in here to edit, we can uncheck it, hit update, and here it is not completed. And we hit edit again, check it, and there, it's done. So this really completes our task application because we've accomplished everything we want to do. We can add a task. We can update the task. and we can delete the task. The only thing we didn't do was show, and show is pretty straightforward. And we don't need it in a task application anyways. So, I hope that it gave you a better idea how we do these applications, and you know, for the RESTful resource part, because I, I got a lot of people that, you know, I do do this. There is no problem with, you know, mixing these route, get, you know, these res resourceful routes, not re resourceful routes, but the restful routes with the resourceful route. I have applications where I have a bunch of these and a bunch of these. So, I mean, these work uh, and these work, and you can use them together. So, don't think that, you know, if you just go to this, that you're going to have to use it all the time because you really don't. Uh, Laravel is very flexible. And it's very fun to use and very easy to use. So, I thank you for watching this tutorial. Um, if it really helped you out, you know you can go to our page, donate because this is practically all I can do right now uh, because of health reasons. And there's also a one to try to get another computer because if you saw my computer now, it just you'd laugh. But it's seven years old, and you saw it took 36 minutes to to uh, render a video so it's it's almost outlived its usefulness so again I thank you for watching this tutorial series and stay tuned for my next one